you gotta make your own financial decision. Exactly. So I'm gonna learn the hard way, or I might not. Who knows? I mean, hard way might be a couple mil. So, <laughs> but yeah, um, the first podcast they invited me on, they asked me to do a segment where I talked about the phases of the moon and how uh, phases of the moon can correspond with times to invest. Now, if I had this this fucking episode still, I I swear I would have been posted it on this channel, but. Um, I don't even know what ever happened to that episode. I know they put it out, but I don't know where it's at. But the information I was like, I was dropping real gems on there. Like, this is when the full moon, you need to invest during this time. Uh, new moon, you need to invest during this time. Like, this is information that could help people who understand certain shit on a spiritual level that might not get the business aspect. You know, we're trying to help people be producers entrepreneurs mm -hmm. or investors because that's really who the government is like best friends with they might not fuck with you like really fuck with you but they they built the game for those players everybody else on the opposite it's side it's funny that you bring that uh it's uh my grandfather used to tell me a story and i, I need to research it to find if it's true he always yeah. told me that on a full moon, if you dig a hole, it's hard to fill that hole back on a full moon. And I, I, it's one of the curious things that for some reason I never went went into to figure it out. I may, I may have to go out back next full moon and dig me a hole and find it. Matter of fact, maybe I can find something tonight on YouTube about that. Hey, I'll go into some research on that. That, uh, yo, yeah, we need to uh, build on that. They, that's an episode in its own by itself. We figured that shit out. That sounds cool as fuck, though. But see, this is why, like, I like uh, generational conversations like that. Like, shit where you, your uh, previous versions of self tell you shit like that, and you know it's coming from somewhere. Like, where, though? What what part of my DNA is trying to talk to me right now? Like, what is this shit trying to tell me? Knowing something that you did not know. In my fact, when I was driving to Arkansas, uh, mm -hmm. Sunday morning, whatever, I spent at least four hours listening to LinkedIn videos, learning some new stuff on pro project management that kind of brought me some old stuff, some other stuff that I didn't even know. And it's like, wow, I know something that I did not know. To me, that is exciting. And then you know, yeah. like this week, I got some books and stuff. I got, I got some learning plans to know. I challenged myself to try and know something that I did not know. Week That's by sweet, week, man. going sweet. in, putting something into your brain and becoming bigger and better. It's like it's like exercising. It's yeah. like the day I woke up and I was just like, I was tired of sleep. I mean, I drove all night and get back in late last night. And I woke up late and every day, days I started going to, and I really did not feel like working out today. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I said? It's like, you know, that if I don't feel like working out, then I mean, I feel like getting fat and I can't complain. I got the ways of going there and do what I can do. And I actually had a pretty decent workout. I drug myself in there. And once I got into the workout, I was like, okay, yeah, you I'm, I'm glad I've done this. You know, got to, got to keep it moving. See, now he just made a great point. The days like that, if you look, you can go to the gym all the time consistent 100 days back to back. But the days where you like, fuck, I don't feel like doing this shit. Then the days you get the most gains, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. And it's, mental, it's a mental thing. It's it's a mental thing as well. Like you said, practice makes perfect. The more you do shit that you don't want to do, the more you like train yourself. Eventually, you gotta go. You gotta go. You. you have to go past your emotions. My emotions will keep me. If it was my emotions, I might not make it to the gym one day a week. Yep. Real shit. But despite how I feel, this is the mission, and this is what needs it. What has to be done. Yep. 